Mississippi State takes on number two, Alabama, this Saturday, October the 31st. Happy Halloween. Use the promo code TREAT and it'll save you 15% on anything on our whole site. Welcome to Picks and Parlays. My name is Allie Burns. Here to deliver that free pick for us is Tim Michael, all the way up in Canada. How's it going, Tim? How's the weather up there? Well, we're not doing too badly over here right now. We're not building our igloos yet, but we're doing okay. Normally I try and steer clear of these types of games with such huge spreads, but in this case, I do think Alabama's getting too many points here. This is a big is line. A We've got one. Alabama minus 31 and the total is 63 and a half. That's huge. It is absolutely huge. You know what? Yeah, I, I think Mississippi State can comfortably sneak in through the back door down the stretch on this one. You know what? The Tide, well, they're off to a 48-17 road win over Tennessee as 21 and a half point favorites. But Alabama, if, if they were ever going to have some small or minor letdown here this season, I think this is it. It's another huge favorite here against Mississippi State. And then it has a bye week before it has a game at LSU in the middle of the month. You know, Mississippi State has been a disappointment this year, but it does benefit from coming out of a bye week into this one. Uh, in its previous contest, well, it lost 28 to 14 to Texas A&M. And you know what, Alabama won this game 38 to seven as a 19 point favorite last year. But I expect a little more of a competitive battle. Hey, the Bulldogs played their best game of the year in week one pulling away from a 44 to 34 upset road win over LSU as a 14 and a half point underdog. But Mississippi State comes in having lost three straight. Uh, quarterback KJ Costello has six touchdowns and 10 interceptions this year. He's really struggled over the last three games, throwing only one touchdown to eight interceptions. Now Costello, he'll be out to redeem himself here. He'll be given the green light to air it out, but he's also gonna to have to share time under center uh, with freshman quarterback, Will Rogers, who saw time versus a &M completing 15 of 18 passes for 120 yards and a touchdown. Now, Mac Jones and the Crimson Tide are obviously the better team here, but I don't see any reason for Alabama to run up the score in the second half if it has a big lead. Instead, it'll just be trying to avoid injury and running out the clock. Mississippi State is also, so you know, six and one against the spread in the last seven following double digit losses at home. Alabama is a poor two and eight against the spread following an against the spread victory. Now, also one more interesting little stat for you here, Allie. The Bulldogs actually have the top rated defense in the SEC regarding both total and passing yards allowed this season. So, hey, again, I think Alabama is going to win this game and it's going to win easily. But I also definitely think this spread is way too large. I think Mississippi State will give it its best shot here, and that'll be more than enough to cover this massive spread. So, Allie, that's my play on this one, Mississippi State and the points. All right. Well, y'all know that I'm a huge Mike Leach fan, so I would love to take all of those points against Alabama. I'm a little bit scared of it, but that's why you're the expert, right? Sometimes you just got to hold your nose and make the bet. And that's what and it's a lot easier to do when you're getting 31 points. That's your free pick from Tim Michael. Take Mississippi State plus 31 points.